Hi guys, um, I know it's been a while since I've been on to do any videos or anything like that. I've just been quite busy with work and getting stuff done in the house and what have you. And to be honest, I was working on a Halloween book that ended up taking way too much time and I didn't get it finished in time to do a video for Halloween, so I just didn't do a video. But anyway, um, today I want to show you my Christmas folio journals. Um, they are as you can see, kind of normal copy book size. Uh, they are all vintaged up and all the rest of it. So they're, they're quite pretty and I'm, I'm happy with how they're coming out. Now they're all different. I have seven of these to sell um, at 25 euro each. Um, worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. And like, that's actually a lot less than what I should be charging for them, to be honest. But I do love making them and um, you know, I can't keep them all, so. Okay, so, sure, this one, anyway, um, as you can see on the side, we have a little brad with a red gem in it, and some charms. This is a little rocking horse and a key. And we have a vintage scent on the front with loads of different woodland animals. Uh, the cover itself is a deep blue and gold, it's all airbrushed, or sorry, it's all dry brushed. And, gilded and all the rest of it. It's got a nice gloss to it. Um, it's quite flexible still but very sturdy and as you can see there are um, we have some cheesecloth coming out around the edges to add to that vintage look and it's got a magnetic closure, a gilded button. Okay um, now I do like the, <laughs> I particularly like the look of this with the four um, studs in it. I think it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now on the inside, most of these, they're, they're very similar on the inside. Um, the covers are all different, but the insides are very similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. They have a similar um, set, set up of the pages and things, but the pictures and stamping and things might be different. Um, and the printing as well. So on the inside cover, we have a bucket with a postcard and that needs gluing again with a little postcard with room on the back for writing um, it's got lace down the inside of the spine um, and all these like the cheesecloth goes all the way across the back of it and the lace as well they all help to keep the, the journal very sturdy and nothing is going to rip or tear like the, uh, the card or the, the paper isn't going to rip or tear on you Okay, so on the first page there's printing, you can't pop, the, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's background Christmas music printing and Merry Christmas. And all the pages, they're all um, vintaged up by me, aged by me, physically by hand. Everything in here is from scratch, I've done everything from scratch. Um, this is some parchment paper that I have stained and stamped, the stamping here, some washi, pretty washy. And there's a pocket with another journaling card. It says Merry Christmas. And again all the journaling cards, everything that is in here has all been um, aged by me. Inked and aged and all the rest of it. Here we have a little paper clip with some decor tag that's been vintaged up just you, you can drop some notes on that some more printing here's a pretty little doily pocket with a journaling card inside again room on the back for, for writing and some little decoration I, I think this is very pretty I like it an envelope may all your wishes come true and on the inside it's all glittered it's all pretty like that. These are, this is a page out of an actual book that I had here in the house that I took apart last year to do my own Christmas journal for last year. I did a junk journal last year and I kept the pages to use for things like this. So that's just in there. Very cute. Some graph paper printed up and added extra little hole reinforcers printing or some stamping sorry another journal card on a, a paper clip that has a ribbon on the top 
and decorate it on the back. Uh, doily page, aged doily by me, a vintage ticket. Stickers, um, this is an envelope. And inside you will find some more journaling space. And there's another ticket in here as well. There we go. So Santa, I can explain. <laughs> so again, more journaling on the back or the front, whichever. Um, I say journaling, but what I actually use my Christmas journals for is I write my Christmas cards list, my gift list. I write down what gifts I get on Christmas Day. I write my dinner plans, um, things like that, card lists, who's getting cards and who I get cards from. And I actually pulled out last year's journal um, when I was setting up to start making these. And I pulled it out and I was having a look through it. And it's actually, it's really sweet to read back on little notes that you wrote for yourself or little things that happened, um, how you planned dinner, Christmas shopping days, things like that. Um, it's, it's very cute and it brings back memories that I wouldn't have remembered otherwise, you know. So yeah, I really liked it. I wrote little notes about things that happened throughout Christmas as well. Um, just to remind myself about the, the nice things that happened, you know. So here we have another paper clip all decorated up. It's got fibres and all pretty stuff. And another little card says compliments of the season. Stamping, the other side of that doily, more stamping. And some of these pages actually have uh, patterns on them. This is actually a doily pattern um, that is dyed into the page. Some more printing. Piece on her. Sorry, you might hear some noises in the background. There's three dogs and a cat going around here, so, you know, forgive the noise. And uh, the other side of that vintage book page. Some more stamping. Blank page for writing, and um, this is a pretty little envelope that is somehow stuck. Oh yeah, because I have it over the page <laughs> with that little um, paper clip with this ribbon and decoration. Okay. With this envelope, um, it's an owl on the front of it. Very pretty, very vintage looking. Put this back in here. And you know you can just keep little receipts, um, things like that, in the in the envelopes. Um, I make a point of kind of going for lunch or coffee with some friends, things like that, and I keep the receipts of that of those. And I might write on it who who was there, and if anything particular happened, I'll write that on it as well. Just and keep them in there, and it just makes a nice little kind of memorial for your for your your Christmas year you know things that you just wouldn't remember otherwise here's another pocket a santa bingo card room for writing on the back a lovely silver strip at the other side of that parchment and this parchment can actually be written on as well uh some more stamping down here i don't know if the camera is going to pick that up and another printed page this is a piece of the night before Christmas poem and here we have an envelope and inside is a little card room here for a photograph if you wish to put a photograph in there and I have it decorated on the back Merry Christmas just a trifold card you can write in here put little notes in it things like that and obviously all the stuff in here can be moved around or taken out and added to if you want you can put photographs in here, all those sorts of things. So, and that is that. There's a magnet for the closure. So you can see all the ribbons coming out the sides and out the top and a little charm on the side. And a close of the magnet. So that's that one. Now I'm not going to do a full flip through of all of them because they are quite similar, but I will show you bits and pieces. You know, the inside covers are different as well. So this is the other one that I have finished at the moment. And on this one, I have a little beading down the spine and it has its own little key charm. Um, again, with the gilded button. Now the buttons are actually sewn in, so they're not going to fall off. Um, and a little girl trimming her tree postcard style so a, a bit of the stuff in here is 
kind of themed towards Christmas post, vintage Christmas post, right? It's the other, um, another pocket on the inside, different paper again on the inside, more lace, uh, journal card. And again, it's quite similar in setup, but the stamping might be different, or the tape might be different, or you know, some of the pages are slightly different. But the pockets turn the other way, things like that. But it's 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 along the same lines of what the other one is. Some of the pictures are different as well. There's another page out that book, different page, obviously. And that is to be put in. <laughs> Another card, doily, that's a different doily, compliments of the season again, another envelope, uh, it's the envelope and the other one is red, this one is um, vintage up white, and it has its own little top there. So you can see um, that while they're quite similar they're quite different as well. Skating at Christmas. I do love the um, pages out of this book. I think they're very sweet. Thank you for writing. This um, envelope has a reindeer on it. Santa. Different trim here. And that's it. And inside we have this, a similar um, card, just done slightly differently. And a magnet closure again. And again, this one has all the um, the cheesecloth trim around the edges. It has all the ribbons coming out. Um, same studding on the back again with the cheesecloth coming out. So that's those two. Now, they're the only two that I have actually complete, completely finished at the moment. But I do have the rest ready to go. Um, I have all the bits and pieces ready to put them together. And I will be doing that today. So here is here are the covers for those. I'm going to show you each of the covers so that you can get some idea of what's going to be available so there's that one I really do like this um, angel picture thing. I have some gilding on it as well um, a vintage Santa with uh, an angel child um, this one is kind of a light blue background with gold um, gold highlights this one is a silver with gold highlights here I have a red one with the gold highlights and a little girl doing her Christmas shopping. This one has sparkly blue pa paper in the background, sparkly blue background with silver airbrushing, silver highlights and children carolers with woodland animals. This one is silver with red highlights and Santa peeping in on the sleeping children. So those are the ones that I'm going to be finishing today, that's the plan anyway. And they will be finished very similarly to the other ones. Um, so they will all be available for sale at €25 Euro each. So that's that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that um, it sparked some sort of an inspiration for you to record your memories for Christmas because it is a very sweet thing to go back and, and look at them year by year. And if you have children, it will also be something that they will look back on in years to come and they'll get joy out of it, you know. Um, I do plan in the future to make case bound cases for these so that you can build up a collection over the years. Um, that's the plan at the moment anyway. Hopefully that will happen. Um, I will be trialling that soon for my own one and I'll see how it comes out. So yeah, so if you're interested do um, message me and let me know and we'll talk. Thank you guys. Bye.